Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Z here. So I've been experimenting with so-called send animation. So for those of you who's not aware of what the send animation is, the idea is simple. So you have kind of a glass, a plane uh, of glass, and below that you have a lantern, and the camera is put kind of above, and eventually it's uh, being shown on a big screen, and it looks like it looks something like uh, this. So the idea that you can uh, draw with your uh, with your finger, and uh, the dark parts are those where uh, we have a lot of sand, and the light parts are those where we do remove the sand of the glass, and so we can see the light that goes from behind. So that's the general idea of the send animation. So feel free to have a look at uh, send, send animations on YouTube when uh, they are done by real world people. It's much more uh, exciting compared to this automated stuff that I'm doing. But uh, let's actually have a look at the recent ideas I came up with. So until this time, I wasn't able to draw counters one by one. I couldn't uh, traverse the counters. However, uh, it turned out that OpenCV library has a very powerful function called find counters, and you can retrieve the counters in various, in various orders. And also you can traverse that in various orders as well. So eventually I've modified some initial scripts that I had, and apart from just uh, drawing the bare uh, black lines on a white screen, I, I've added some textures. So we have uh, uh, an actual uh, an image uh, as the background and the foreground is, is an image as well. They all kind of masked all together. And this does create a sort of a feeling that we have this sort of a uh, kind of send animation. Well, however, uh, even though I call this send animation, still I personally more like uh, how it looks uh, with a classical black and white approach. So yeah, it's just, let's, let's just quickly skip to the very end. Okay, so I hope it's clear. And now let's have a look at uh, a couple more examples that, that I have for uh, black and white stuff. So let's consider the same the same animation, but it already goes in black and white. Okay, so just skip slightly a little bit just to give you an idea. So I personally think that this one is even more pretty. Okay, that's that's how the original image looks like. By the way, almost almost the same. So here we go, and I also uh, well you 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 already saw that. Uh, but I, but I have updated my logo as well, so now it's no longer a matrix printer style, but this kind of more natural one, so we can go for things uh, like line by line traversing the counters. Okay, guys, so if you're interested, uh, let's have a very quick look at the core part of the story code. Okay, uh, before that, I just I just want to show one last thing. So uh, let's say. Uh, let's say this one. So uh, if we source, uh, if we source, uh, we can source not only black and white pictures as I did in the previous examples, but here I've sourced the RGB picture. Okay, so this picture as a source results in this kind of video. Uh, it's really it's not that brilliant as I wanted it to be, but the overall idea of actually extracting the edges and drawing them one by one feels like quite pretty, uh, feels pretty interesting, I believe. So yeah, uh, the matter of edge extraction is uh, different, is another topic. But anyway, uh, it's not only possible to extract the edges from the pure black and white images but from RGB images potentially as well but really lots of settings are needed to be set up properly there to make uh, a better look so yeah let's have a look at the source code finally so what what has changed compared to the previous versions I've been demonstrating so yeah here I have uh, a little bit different algorithms to 
uh, extract the edges so in case of a black and white image yeah by the way uh all the all the parameters that can be changed like uh uh how long to show the image after it's been drawn on a screen the animation speed the line thickness uh random traversal is another option uh when we don't go like in order but go randomly so some some, some, sort of, some sort of a settings are available here as well. So here, in case if we have a black and white image, we're going for so-called Kenny uh, edge detection. Otherwise, we're blurring the image and going for adaptive threshold. But again, like this still uh, needs to be worked out a little bit better. And then we do extract the counters. Okay, and here is the most interesting part. Well, uh, the preview is just it's just a preview, nothing special here uh so when it comes to so here i look over uh, over the counters and here is the routine to draw the counters uh like not the all not i'm not using the standard draw counters routine here but instead uh we can uh like draw the counter uh smoothly so that's that's the core idea and that's the way how how to set the animation speed as well. So the source code uh, is free and open source, so it would be available on GitHub. Please feel free to have a look at how things work. So this is it from my side. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next time, and take care.